Diego Castillo. He's the new shortstop as he comes in as a defensive replacement here. So just about set now. And now here's the veteran DH, Anthony Rendon. Swing and a ground ball out to short. In plenty of time to first, one up, one down. Jazz Chisholm now. The second baseman, Jazz Chisholm. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Right hander kicks, deals. That one the other way, pulls it in for the out. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. Number 99. Jesus. Next offering is down low. And that's ball one. Righty to the plate. Out front and foul to the left side. No score just getting started, top of the first. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. That one in for a strike, two and two. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. Next offering is foul back. And a 3 2. And it's That's ball, ball four. He missed down low. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. The but as a hitter, he'll take that all day. Avasail Garcia up to the plate. In there, and it's 0 1. Let's win, Pirates. Come on. And the righty deals. Ball one there. Plane 11. 1 1. It's a 1 1. Strike. Ball two. Two balls. One strike. The two on is high. Aguilar, the runner at first with two gone. Swing Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. And he deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And here it comes. Got it. That ends the frame. Bottom of the first. At the plate for Pittsburgh. Key Brian Hayes. Meeting up for the, the pitch. Pirates. The third baseman. And a good Hello, eye there. Brian. Hey. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Cracks his bat and pops him up. Aguilar makes the grab. And there's one down. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Anthony Anthony. First pitch, just misses. And the right-hander deals. Ball, no. Two balls, no strike. On the ground to third, and that's just foul. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Makes the grab, two down. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right, right there. Good. Hitter looked the like he baseman. was on it, but I think that Lane velocity Burrow. at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Next offering is in for a strike. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired 
for Heraldus Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. Stays alive. Next pitch downstairs, and it's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That misses the zone. Three and two now. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. And that is the third out of the inning. Back here at PNC Park, top of the second, and now Jesus Sanchez. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. That's the third, and that should be extra bases. And that one's going to get into the corner. And that's a leadoff double. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. And that's in there for strike one. Second inning here, no score. Next offering is in for a strike. That big curve inside is a pitch that can buckle you a little bit. Looks like a fastball out of hand and then just drops over that inside part of the plate. The next offering misses. Yeah, the count one and two. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have it. And he can't come up with it. That leaves him without a throw, and they don't get the out. Here's Joey Wendell. The Joey Wendell. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That one missing inside. That clips the corner. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball, double play. Left-hand hitter waits. And another ball. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. 2-2 Two -two now. And down on strikes. And there's one away. Now the third baseman, Ryan Anderson. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ground ball right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Chavis fires over to first. Run scores, but a terrific play to get the out. Jacob Stallings now. Yeah, the first offering is not close. The pitch. outside Cooper on its second with two down next pitch in for a strike three and one and a foul ball left side One is lifted in the air. Longoria moving under it. And that'll do it. Welcome back. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Lopez back to work. That one misses. Ball one. The wind of the pitch. 
There's the strike of the knees. Ball to strike. Now fly ball to right center. Cooper going back. Back some more. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And a quick out number one. So now here's the DH. Travis Darno. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. That one's in there on one. To third, Anderson collects. Sends it to first. Two up, two down. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. Batting fifth. No left field. Evan. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Next offering is in for a strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Next pitch is popped up. Chisholm tosses the first, and that is the inning. Back here in Pittsburgh, now it's the DH, Anthony Rendon. First pitch, and he just misses. The 1 0. And that one off the outside edge. The wide to kick the pitch. And that one is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. And that one fouled off. The next pitch misses. Full count three and two. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there's one down. Jazz Chisholm, the next up for the Marlins. He's over one. Swings through that one. One one. One down, base is empty. And ball one. The one one. And fouled off. And that one almost got him. 2-2 two -two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The 2-2. Two -two. In the air, left side. Longoria racing over to make the catch. Jesus Aguilar, the next up for the Marlins. He reached out a walk his first time. First offering misses badly for ball one. Two outs. Fought off foul. Here comes a pitch. And now one and two. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. And that one popped to short. Castillo settles underneath it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Set for the bottom of the third, and now Roberto Perez. First pitch, not close. One ball, no Perez. Righty to the plate. And strike two. Do that two. fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. And a swing and a miss. And now one away. Here's Chavis now. And the first oh. offering is not close. Chavis drafted as a shortstop. Next offering is in for a strike. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. In there. And so now one and two. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Next one off the plate inside. Two and two. 
Next pitch is outside. And he walked it. And now the shortstop, Diego Castillo. Diego Castillo. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the 1 0. That one lifted to left. Garcia under it. Drops into the glove. Two away now. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open the instead of staying closed. 14. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Hayes in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. A one down. And it goes just foul. Chavis leads off first with two down to the inning. Going to count one and two. 0 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Stays alive. In the dirt, but kept close. Well done behind the dish. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here's the 2 2. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Checks over to first, back safely. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a miss, and that is that. And welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth. Here's the left fielder, Abasail Garcia. The left First oh. offering misses the mark. The 1 0. In the air, right side. Solaire on the move. Racing makes the catch. And there's one away. No, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Now the 0-1. He swings and fouls one off. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets outs. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Now two out. Now that and now right Garrett here. Cooper Garrett. reached on an infield single his first time. First no. offering and it just misses. And the 1 0. Ripped in the right center. Base hit. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you now gotta make them pay. The shortstop. Runner at first, Joey. two away. And now for the Marlins, Joey Wendell. Caught looking his first time up. In there for strike one. The 0 1. That one fouled off. That's a Got him looking. And that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the number two hitter, Anthony Alford. The center fielder, Anthony. And a foul ball. This could be at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next one misses. And one and one. And a pitch.
stays alive. This to third. Anderson handles the chance. Fires across the diamond. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the now air. Man. Let's the First defense work behind him with another ground Play ball. Down. Good execution. Labor so Torres up to hit. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And there's two away. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Jorge yeah, Soler. Wide out his first time. Jorge. So Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. And he chases that one. And that is that. All set for the start of the inning. And at the plate for Miami, Ryan Anderson. The third base. There's a strike. Anderson. The pitch. Now one and one. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Next offering oh. upstairs. And a pitch. Ball. And that's oh. downstairs and outside. Kicks and deals. On the ground, out to short. It's in and out of his glove. He doesn't have a throw, and he reaches safely. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate. Yeah, just a cookie yeah. down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top yeah. of it. Stallings stands in now and watches strike one. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Torres pulls it down, and there's one down. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. And that one in the air center field. Off right there to make the grab. Out number two. And now it's going to be Jazz Chisholm. This guy has turned into a beast. First pitch just misses. Next one off the plate inside. Now 2 0. Oh. Left hand batter waits. There's a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. At the belt and fires. That misses the zone, and that's ball three. And he deals. Strike two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Anderson off of first with two away. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And it's into the bleachers. Out of here. That one barely got out of here. And they add a pair. It's 3 nothing. So digging in, Jesus Aguilar. The first baseman, number 99. In there, and it's 0-1. And the pitch. And that one fouled off. And a swing and a miss. And that's that.
back here at PNC Park. And now the DH, Travis Darno. Leading up for the Pirates. The First offering misses badly for ball one. Well, after putting up a nice oh, no. inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. Next offering misses, and a count is three and one. And a pitch. Swung on, belted. That one back there. And it's gone! Travis Darno hits one out. And they inch closer. It's 3-1. Up next for the Pirates, Evan Longori. The left fielder, number 10. First Evan. pitch, and he just misses. Longoria. Righty delivers. Pitch misses there, and that's ball two. And here it comes. That ball just three. misses, and now 3-0. and oh. And the righty deals. And a four-pitch walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick three pass. Roberto Perez standing in. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. The 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was late. The next offering misses. And a count one and two. Next pitch is outside. That's a really good take. Tying run at the plate. On the ground, two ball. Off balance beat, there's one. On to first, and Aguilar, it's a double play. Two outs, space is empty. Michael Chavis, the next Pirate to hit. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And this is a guy originally drafted as a shortstop. He's got big time power. And the next pitch is way outside. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. Well, he was right up on the plate, so even a small misfire was enough to send him the first. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Diego Castillo. 0 for 1 with a fly. This one high in the air to left center. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. The relay, slide, save. And now they trail by one. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow-through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Hayes in the box now, takes strike one. The next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. Man at second. Castillo at second with two down. Bounce to the right side and foul ball. The pitch. Missing inside and the count's full. So the tying run at second. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Well, he saw that change up really well, just a little early, still barreled in. As you see, home run distance just couldn't keep it fair. Right through there, got him. Good job of damage control right there. Welcome back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. We have a left fielder, Abasayil Garcia. That's in there, and that is strike one. The wind of the pitch. Gets him to chase after that one. Not a swing you want to watch again. 
Deal two. Look oh. out. Almost got him upstairs. Straighten him up a little bit. And the right hander deals. And that's outside. Now it's filled up. The wind of the pitch. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Mitch Keller gets the call from the pen. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And a foul ball. Keller with a move to first. Garcia back in on a dive. Rudder at first with no outs here. Rudder, Rudder, he's Rudder takes off. There's oh. a ball. Throw to second. Ow! Kicks and fires. Ah, uh, look out. That fastball drilled him. So, Boog, if you had to take one for the team, where would you want to get hit? Chris, I think I'd have to say upper hamstring. Garrett. Garrett Cooper now at the plate. First pitch, not close. One run game, one out, one on. That one drifts inside. And it is two and one. Here comes a pinch. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. The 2-2. Two -two. Rolled to short, could be two. Castillo over to second on the first double play. And that's the inning. And welcome back. Well, we go bottom six at the plate for Pittsburgh. Anthony all And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. And one and two. The pitch. And now the count is even. Right hander kicks deals. And a swing and a miss. So he's gotten deep into this game. Now and at least so First far, three. not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Here's Glaber Torres. First offering, misses the mark. Looking at Torres, have to say, he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years. Well, no question about it. His future is very bright. The city, the organization, both are excited Two. about him. He has a lot to look forward to. Right into the play. Down the left field line, looks like extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Here's the throw. The tag out. Next to bat will be the Pittsburgh cleanup hit, Jorge Soler. First pitch doesn't find the zone. When you think about it, he may be in the league for the next 10 or 15 years. And a foul ball. Two outs. The one two. Stays alive. Over to Aguilar. That's the inning.
we go to the top of the seventh. And now for the Marlins, Joey Wendell. The shortstop, Joey. And a pitch. There's the strike. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Just a bit late on that 0-1 breaking ball. 0-2 hole now. He's going to have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's going to have a good at bat. And a foul ball. He stays alive. This one rip, but foul to the right. Stays alive. And he'll two. And that one upstairs. Pretty standard high 0 2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. That one down the line. Swing and a pop-up. Castillo racing over to make the catch. Ryan Anderson, the next up, next up for the Marlins. The third baseman, Ryan Anderson. And that's in there for strike one. The 0-1. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. And down on strikes he goes. Two down. Two outs. Space is empty. Jacob Stallin digs in now. First pitch and he just misses. The 1-0. Turned on, but foul wide of third. So now one and two. Yeah, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. Next offering is foul back. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Oh. Next one in the dirt. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready oh. for it. Next one just misses, and it's 3 and 2. The pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner yeah. over at first base yeah. is going to have a very yeah. aggressive yeah. secondary lead. So, yeah. ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. And the 1 0. In the air, right field. Soler on his way over. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. Here's a speed threat, Jazz Chisholm. Bit of strategy here. They issue the intentional walk, and that'll set up a force play at any base. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. Kicks and deals. That one missing low. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in a run. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the south would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. On the ground. Can't field it cleanly. But they get the out at first. And that'll do it for the end. Dylan Floro takes over on the mound. Hasn't pitched in a while. He's had the last five days off. Dylan Floro.
Back here in Pittsburgh, set for the last half of the seventh. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And it's fouled away. Next pitch misses way outside. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Looking to get the tying run on base. This ball's chopped on the ground. Zips it to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Here's the left fielder, Evan Longoria. Evan Longoria. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. All in one. That's inside. The 1 1. Fouled off. He was late. Rolled slowly to first. He takes it on his own. And that quickly, two away. Here's the catcher, Roberto Perez. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The tying run at the plate. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And that one hops the wall. Throws to second. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. And it's Michael Chavis at the plate. The batter, number two, second baseman, Michael. First Watch offering, the misses the ball. Man on second, two down. And that's through there for a strike. Perez at second with two down. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Can't get their base hit. Run comes in for second. It's 3-3. In with a double, and the go-ahead runs at second with two out. Picks himself up an RBI. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Sanchez makes the catch, and that is the inning. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the eighth. Now the left fielder, Abasayil Garcia. Keller back to work. On the ground to short. To first. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins for the fourth time tonight. Next offering is down low. And that is ball one. Right-handed reliever. There's the strike. Next offering is way upstairs. Pitch. Bounced up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He decides to eat it, and they don't get an out on the play. Garrett Cooper, the next up for the Marlins. First pitch, just misses. And he deals. Your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Moves first. And he dives back in safely. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run, stands at first. Next oh. offering in the dirt, and it's two and one. Two ball. one strike. The pitch. And a weak ground ball to the left side. Hayes to second, 
and that's two. Pitcher on here, Eliezer Hernandez. Number 57, Eliezer Hernandez. On to the bottom of the eighth. Now here is Key Brian Hayes. Leading up for the Pirates. The third First baseman. offering and it just Key misses. Hey. And a pitch. Well, that's really the money spot, down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Next offering is in for a strike. A wind of the pitch. High fly ball out to center field. Sanchez gets under it, hauls it in, and there's one away. Anthony Alford, the next pirate to hit. The center fielder, number six, Anthony. Oh, Foul four. off down the right side. Trying to keep good okay. speed off the bases. Here's the 0-2. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Out to short. Wendell gloves it. Two up, two down. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Here is the young feed on Labor Torres. And the first offering is not close. And here it comes. And there's a foul ball. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. And Labor Torres retired. And that is that. Welcome back. Now it's going to be Joey Wendell. Leading off for the moment. And the pitch. Yeah. Off the mark there. And that's ball one. And there's the ball. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Next one misses. Ball three. And the 3 0 finds his own. The belt and fires. Left field. And that'll get down for a hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff, but base hit. Quickly to second for one. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Jacob Stahl. And that one fouled off. Next offering misses. A ball one strike. Hit on the line. Runner around third. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. It's four to three. Well done. Drives in the run. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball no, hit the, the ball. barrel. That's a poor stroke. Rendon in the box here lets that one go for a ball. The pitch out towards right center field can't get there and now maybe extra bases 
Runner scores from second as they add on an insurance run. And they lead by two. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Textbook back control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. So a lefty out of the pen, Sam Howard. He'll try to strand the runner at second. Howard. So man aboard. Here's the second baseman, Jazz Chisholm. In there, and it's 0-1. No Rendon, the runner at second with one away. Next one is off the plate. It's a ball and two strikes. Left-hand batter waits. Foul ball. The one-two. Stays alive. Here's a one-two. Runner at second here, one gone. Here's a 2 2. That one missed. Down is full. Three balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two out. And up next for Miami, Jesus Aguilar. First offering misses badly for ball one. Kicks and fires. Just missed. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Next offering flips the zone, not even a two. And now the lefty. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Runner at second, two down. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there, just couldn't catch up. Stays alive. And a pitch. Inside three and two to count. Here comes a pitch. Lace to right center base hit. Here comes Rendon around third. And that's going to roll to the wall. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's six to three. And in its second with an RBI double. Well, he really had to battle for that one. Man, that was so fun to watch. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field. And it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did. And he did it perfectly. Next offering is foul back. Man at second. Pitch one. misses. Two and one. Two, one. Two outs. And one in scoring position. And another ball. The three one. Count filled up three and two. Oh, 
the punch out there and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Anthony Bass on the pitch here and this is his season debut. All set for the bottom of the ninth at the plate for Pittsburgh, Jorge Soler. For the Pirates. pitch, the right field is a strike. Jorge Soler. And the righty deals. And there's the strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. And the right-hander deals. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One out, bottom of the ninth. Travis Dardo getting ready to hit. He's already homered here in this one. Dardo. Popped up first base side. Chisholm on the run towards the line. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there are two outs. Evan Longoria, the next pirate to hit. Evan. Longoria. First pitch, not close. One up. The one up. Good eye right there. Two outs. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. Just one out away, try to close it out. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, his first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. 6-3, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. nine runners on base. For the Pirates, three runs, five hits. No errors. They left three men on base.